have a big ballad or what? Oh, I'm not as young as I used to be. I think I need to sit down and have a cup of tea. Excuse me for one second. Oh, it looks good. A cup of tea is always best drunk out of a nice china, isn't it? I'm glad to see you agree with me. I suppose you've heard the stories about my throwing things, have you? Well, you know, I did have a bit of a reputation as a diva. Don't know why. Goodness me. No, I did have a have a penchant for throwing things, and my favourite thing to throw around backstage was my tea sets. But you're safe down the front there. You're singing along nicely, and I like this tea set. And yes, it is tea. Can you? You probably can't see. Not vodka. <laughs> I did give in to those demons and many other demons for quite a while there. But in the end, it was breast cancer that took me to the big geek in the clouds, just before my 60th birthday, just after I was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame and then awarded my OBE for my musical achievements.
Oh, enough of that. Let's pick it up a bit, shall we? So, 1968, I released an album, Dusty in Memphis. Does anybody have a copy? No. You see, that's the problem. <laughs> you see, it was a huge cr critical success a couple of weeks. Um, but unfortunately, nobody bought it. So if you do have it on vinyl, it may be worth something. You never know. But I was growing older, and so were my fans. And the late 60s were all about exploring one's sexuality. And I was no different, if you believe everything you read. And so I tried to go with the times and express it in my music, like these next ones. <laughs> Just a little love early in the morning beats a cup of coffee for starting off. Don't 
because her father was a preacher, so you know, inappropriate. <laughs> so catch this, while Aretha was singing about respect, I was singing about her brother. <laughs> oh dear. I've had a wonderful, wonderful life, some good times and bad times. The 80s, I got reborn in the 80s, it was fabulous. I uh, did some songs with the Pet Shop Boys. Uh, they brought me back to my hometown of London and relaunched me to a whole new generation of fans, which I'm very grateful for. You know, despite the bad times I've had, 
It's times like these performing on stage that really make me feel alive. I promised Peter Allen that I'd do one of his favorite songs and mine.
you have to go now, but of course I couldn't leave you without singing my biggest hit. <laughs>
performing for only the second time in 42 years. I last performed here when I was four years old. True, it was back in 1968, but of course all of you are too young to remember. You're the next generation, right? Well, tonight you know, we were talking uh, about the, the wonderful marriage of uh, Prince William and, uh, and Catherine uh, last week, and of course what you uh, probably also realise that tonight you're seeing Two people who were called the King and Queen of British Rock back in the 60s, and I speak of Sir Cliff Richard and Dusty Springfield, and how about Sheena Crouch's Dusty Springfield, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> and of course, the great Sir Cliff Richard, who's lasted for an incredible 52 years, even though he's only 54. <laughs> you might remember a few of these. <laughs> Myself for crying, talking, sleeping, walking, living now. I got to do my best to please her just cause she's living now. I got a woven iron, that is why she satisfies my soul. I got the one and only walking, talking, living now. Now take a look at her hair. It's real, and if you don't believe what I say, just be We'll lock her up in a trunk Cause no big hunk can steal her away from me Got myself a crying, talking, sleeping, a walking, living now Living now Got my best to please her just cause she's a living now Living now Got a robe and I am, that is why she sat us Until 
to it in that medley. We look down in the audience, we can see all these smiling faces going... <laughs> <laughs> so just for us, ladies and gentlemen, will you please just sing a chorus of Summer Holiday for us? Here we go. A one, two, three, four... Oh, where? We're all going on a summer holiday. At least you all started together. <laughs> Even if the second half went something like, We're all going on a summer holiday. No more working for a week or two. A fun. <laughs> well, you nearly got there, Bunbury. Never mind. Okay. You know, that little upstart, Justin Bieber, is following us all around the country. <laughs> I used to look like that once. <laughs> I had the beetle mop. I had all the screaming fans. Now all those screaming fans scream at their husbands. <laughs> Do you think Justin Bieber's music will last 52 years? like <laughs> I don't think so either. Especially because of great songs like this. Yeah. <laughs> 
day. When the years have flown, darling, then we teach the young ones of our own. Me and my shadow. No, I taught him all he knows. Oh, I'm sure you did, Mick. I'm sure you did. What about you, Twinkle Toes? I'm saving myself. <laughs> He's saving himself for Dancing with the Stars. Okay. Speaking of all that, ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to my wonderful musical director of many, many years, a gentleman who also tours the world with Manhattan Transfer and Mr. Neil Sadaka. Will you welcome Clive Lindich? <laughs> Otherwise known as two left feet. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, on keyboards from originally from Italy, Mr. Steve Iswadi. <laughs> originally from Croatia many generations ago. <laughs> Mr. On bass guitar, Mr. Emmy Nelson. <laughs> okay. Our gorgeous, lovely backing singer who joins us for the first time on this tour, having toured for many years with Tina Arena and Vanessa Amorossi. Will you please welcome Chrissy Thomas? Whoa! Yeah, I recognize you, man. Sorry? I can vouch for that. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, three boys from your own state of Western Australia, will you please welcome Rick, Paul and Mark. <laughs> uh, Mr. Stephen Zawadi, could I have, please have a ship's bell, sir? A what? A ship's bell. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's... Uh, how about, how about we all go cruising on a sea cruise, huh? Here we go. For all of you who've been on those p and cruises at some time, one of the good ones.
And now we're on that ship, we're just getting near the shore, we're gonna get the lifeboats down and we're going on the beach. few young gentlemen in this world who could say that the, at such a young age that they have performed nearly a hundred times with the great Sir Cliff Richard. My very next best, best guest <laughs> is one such person. He's performed 41 straight concerts at the Royal Albert Hall with Sir Cliff Richard, sellout concerts, and he has one of the most incredible voices that I have ever heard. And it is no wonder that when Sir Cliff Richard heard him sing, he signed him immediately to his record company. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce him the exact same way that Sir Cliff Richard introduced him at the Royal Albert Hall. Will you please welcome the amazing voice of Barrett War? Good evening, Bunbury. Oh, that was nice. <laughs> I'm, I can't tell you how happy I am to finally be performing in Australia. Um, I have an album out at the moment, which I'll tell you about in a minute. But I was waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting for Warners to decide to finally get it over here. And I actually came to Australia in 2006 for my brother's wedding and fell in love with the place. And I was just waiting for my album to get out here so I could spend a lot of time here. And finally I am, so I'm very happy. <laughs> Wonderful crowd. Wonderful crowd. Um, I'm going to start, in keeping with the show, I'm going to start with um, a song that I've recorded and released in England. Um, but it just so happens to be, uh, of all of the songs I've ever recorded, Sir Cliff's favourite. It's called Call the Rain. It's one of my own. Here we go. Tears to fall 
wash away my pain Call the wind and call the quiet sense of comfort To make me whole again I don't want to wake up lonely Tears falling from my eyes But it comes as no surprise to me Cause in my heart I know I'll be I'll be waiting for you only Only to find that you can be with me Cause in your heart you love me wrongly Paint your sad And then I call the tears to fall from heaven To wipe away the trace of your smile The way you look at me You're on the way where I want to be Cause I don't want to wake up lonely Tears falling from my eyes But it comes as no surprise to me Cause in my heart I know I'll be I'll be waiting for you only Only to find that you can be with me Cause in your heart you love me wrong sing on for you now that you do know, um, made very famous by um, the late Patrick Swayze and um, in the movie Dirty Dancing. Oh. I choose well apparently. <laughs> Here it is, it's called She's Like the Wind. Join in if you know it, I want to hear voices. I hope you like my version. Like the wind through my dreams, she rides the night next to me. She leaves me the moonlight only to burn me with the sun. She's taken my heart, but she doesn't. She's done I feel her breath in my face Her body close to me I can't look in her eyes She's out of my lane oh, Just a fool to believe I am anything I don't hear anyone. I 
serious trouble, wouldn't I? <laughs> okay, so let me tell you about my album. Here it is. Um, it's, as I said before, it's been released eight or nine or ten different countries of, around the world through Warner Music. Um, some beautiful music on there, actually. And um, I left, actually, a flyer on every seat in here. Did you all get them? Yay! Yeah. Hey. And do you know the reason we did that? It's because nobody ever seems to be able to spell my name. So they go into a music store and they say, oh, can I have Barrett War? Or they mispronounce it, or, and nobody can ever find it on their, their machine. And, um, you know, when you go online, you, you, people do, obviously don't know how to spell it because they've never seen the words. So we put a flyer on every seat, so if, if you like the sound, then maybe you'll buy the album. <clears throat> now, did anybody hear the music as they were coming in and in the interval? That was my album. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Elsie, you like? Brilliant, brilliant. And, um, just to let you all know, it is available in JB Hi-Fi across, across the country, but this week they sold out. So, which is great, isn't it? I mean, it's only been available for, uh, well, for not long, really, and already Australia has sold out, so they're waiting for a big order coming in from the UK. But I do have 50 copies with me. So if anybody's interested, I'll be out the front, I'll be signing copies. If anyone's interested, you'll be able to find me. Um, but I'm going to do the title track for you. It's called I Love You Goodbye. I wish I could be the one, the one who could give you love, the kind of love you really need. Wish I could say to you, 
that I'll always stay with you. But baby, that's not me. You need someone willing to give their heart and soul to you. Promise you the rest. Baby, that's something I can do. Oh, I can say that I'll be all you need, but that would be a love. I know I don't mean hurt you. I know I don't mean make you proud. I'm not the one you needed. I love you. Goodbye. And I hope someday you can find some way to understand. I'm only doing this for you. I don't really want to go. But deep in my heart, I know this is the kindest thing to do. And you find someone who'll be the one that I could never be. Who'll give you something better than the love you find with me? Oh, I could say that I'd be all you need, but that would be a crime. I know I don't leave hurt you. I know I don't. As much as I love you Oh, I don't want to leave you Baby, it tears me up inside That I'll never be the one you needed I love you title track to my album, I Love You Goodbye, available here. And, um, well, I have to go. Aww. I know. What can I do? What can I do? But I'm going to leave you with one more. You can have one more. <laughs> one more. Really do. 
come true Someday I wish upon a star I'll wake up where the clouds are far behind me to introduce Barrett to Australian audiences. Once more, ladies and gentlemen, Barrett Wall. Come on, Bunbury, clap your hand.
through the moonlight How can you treat me up through the night? Oh, baby, do you want to dance? synergies. We were both born in Asia. Cliff was born in Lucknow, India. Um, and I was born in Surabaya, Indonesia, of mixed parentage, both of us. Uh, we were both recording artists, both worked on the stage, both worked in television, both worked in films, both incredibly handsome. <laughs> Everybody laughs when they say <laughs> In 1969, ladies and gentlemen, Cliff Richard split from his long-time backing band, The Shadows, who were huge stars in their own right. And it took about another seven or eight years before Cliff really recaptured that record success that he enjoyed for so long in the late 50s and 60s. And it came about as a result of the talents of a couple of expatriate Australian songwriters by the name of Alan Tarney from Western Australia and Terry Britton and with a little bit of help from a little Englishman called Leo Sayer to give Cliff a whole series of great new hits we're going to do some of those for you now Like a lover's do Well, I'm not like 
broken with a voice unheard When a thought is broken by a tender word When a heart is moved, when a heart is thrown The silence tells you you're not alone Some people are born for each other
We're just walking up that way. We hope you're going to come along with us. Cliff can thank Leo for this one. such a memorable one. You have a beautiful city here. We enjoyed the delights of the Victoria Street Isit and all your cafes. We've eaten in about half of them. We've had a wonderful time, even though we've only been here for about 24 hours. And we're a little bit sad to go. Tomorrow night we look forward to having Justin Bieber in the next venue. It's going to be fun. We're hoping to babysit all their parents <laughs> at Burswood Theatre. It's going to be quite an experience. And I wonder if they'll behave so outrageously like their children and scream. <laughs> you need a little practice, darling. <laughs> Sounded like someone trod on a cat's foot. <laughs> We want you to help us in this song. I'm going to draw, can we just have the house lights up a little bit, please? Okay, I'm going to draw an imaginary line down the middle of the audience here, and I have a lovely lady with long, shoulder-length brown hair. Can we just have them up a little bit? So can you put the spotlight on this lovely lady down in the front row? Just there. Aren't you glad you sat in the front row? Okay. We're going to separate the room down there. Everyone on her right is team one, and everyone on her left is team two. Now, team one, all I want you to sing is this. Dreaming, dreaming of me and you. Let's try. Oh, one, two, three, four. Dreaming, dreaming of me and you. I want to hear you from up the back. Now, you on this side, team two, all you got to do is change two words. Okay, here we go. Listen to this. Dreaming, dreaming will see me through. Here we go. Oh, one, two, three, four. Dreaming, dreaming will see me through. I want you to sing louder than that. Here we go, team one. Dreaming. Dreaming Come on, you can do better than that. Team two. Dreaming. Okay, start clapping the hands, everyone. Dreaming. Come on. I want to hear you from.
drop the back. Don't get a sick and loud. Dream in. Okay, start to yell now, Bumbrick. Come on, top of your voices. Dream in. Before we go any further, I, I want you to join with me in thanking the Kelly gang. That's Kelly, Tristan and Rolf, who are our sound and lights tonight, who've done such a wonderful job here at the Broken Entertainment Center. Would you thank you for us, please? And straight up to tonight's show, um, Sheena, myself and Barrett will be out the front signing CDs. So please come up and say hello. We'd love, we'd love to meet some of you come up and uh, get a memento of tonight's show. You've been an absolutely wonderful audience and you've made my first visit back here in uh, a very enjoyable one. It's only my second time here. It's been very, very enjoyable. And uh, I guess, uh, you know, when you do a show like this, uh, paying tribute to a lady who's no longer with us, and incidentally, I don't know whether you're aware of this, but um, back in the 60s, Sir Cliff and uh, Dusty were known as the king and queen of British rock. And they never, ever, ever performed on stage together. Yeah, until now. So, and we're happy to make it happen. First time anywhere in the world. So will you please welcome back on stage as Dusty, the wonderful Sheena Crouch. Which she did with the uh, Engelbert. And now she's doing it with Cliff. Listen, baby, ain't no mountain high, ain't no valley low, ain't no river wide in the baby. If you need me, call me, no matter where you are, no matter how far. If you ever need a helping hand, I'll be there when you want me as fast as I can. So don't
show wouldn't be complete, ladies and gentlemen, without inviting the man back on stage who is such a such a great talent with such a magnificent voice. Would you please welcome back Mr. Barrett War? Yeah. I'm taking the shakes, baby, shake. 